This is a functionally monocular patient who has an Alcon Acrosoft lens that was placed 13 years ago. It has severe glistenings and she is um, bothered by decreased vision and glare. We've decided to do a lens exchange for a new clear lens. So we're going to dissect out this uh, lens which has been in place for a long time and place a new lens to uh, try to improve her vision. Here we're making our incisions and we're injecting viscoelastic using a soft shell technique. We'll now make our main incision with a 2.75 millimeter keratome and we want this to be self-sealing. We'll widen it just a little bit to about three millimeters. We're now going to uh, get under the anterior capsule using dispersive viscoelastic on a 26 gauge LASIK cannula and it's uh, pretty easy to um, get under the anterior capsule and start dissecting the capsule bag open here. We'll now come from the other side and uh, start opening the bag here as well. We'll now switch to dispersive viscoelastic on a 27 gauge cannula and use this to inflate the capsule bag on each side. Once this is done, the uh, lens is freed up enough and there's enough room to start mobilizing it. I'm now going to use a bimanual technique with two small micro hooks placed through the paracentesis to gently lift up the lens and sweep the fibrosis off of this haptic. There is, however, very significant fibrosis at the tip of the haptic, and I've made a decision to cut the haptic and work on it later. So here I'm going to cut the haptic, leave that uh, haptic remnant behind for now, and start mobilizing the optic up out of the capsule bag so I can work on the other haptic. So here I'm going to go under the optic and push this up through the capsular excess so I can start freeing up the other haptic. And the other haptic is fibrosed as well at the tip, but I'm going to be pretty aggressive here and sweep this fibrosis off the haptic tip to free this up so that now the uh, lens is mobile. And here this haptic is free now, and we can uh, start to take this uh, lens out. So we're going to uh, center the lens in the anterior chamber and be careful not to let that sharp cut end of the uh, other haptic damage anything. I'm going to grab the optic with a 23 gauge MST micro holding forceps and hold the optic while I cut the lens with a 19 gauge Packer Chang scissor. So the lens will be completely cut in half here and we'll uh, remove each half through the incision. And when we remove each half, we'll be careful to protect the cornea endothelium using a Sinsky hook. We'll now remove the haptic remnant by grabbing it with a micro grasper and using a Sinsky hook to aggressively sweep the fibrosis off the tip of the haptic. And now that the rest of the lens is no longer attached to this haptic, we can get a better angle pulling this up as we sweep the fibrosis off and I can really get a good feel for how much tension I'm putting on the haptic and on the zonules. Uh, so I don't do any damage. And this is really something you just get a feel for. And here I've uh, freed the haptic up and now I can take it out through the main incision.
I'm now going to place our capsule tension ring in the capsule bag to uh, stiffen it up a bit and to make sure that we've uh, dissected out all the way to the equator of the bag. And this drops in nicely so I know that all the adhesions are freed up. We can now put the implant in the capsular bag. This is a uh, Technus one-piece acrylic lens. We'll uh, dial this into position after getting both haptics in the bag as gently as possible. I'm going to use a uh, bimanual uh, technique with separate irrigation aspiration to remove the viscoelastic through the paracentesis. Uh, I feel that this will give me better control and would be less likely to cause a vitreous to come around a zonular dialysis underneath the main incision. Uh, I know that that is where the zonules are weakest, and uh, with high flow through that incision, I'm concerned that uh, vitreous could find its way around the capsular bag. So we use the separate irrigation aspiration. I'm putting myocol in here to bring the pupil down, and uh, the case is uh, now completed. Uh, this is what the patient looked like at the slit lamp one week post-op. She now has a clear lens. And she's very happy with this outcome. Here's an interview with the patient at one week. Hi, right, Jim. We took out the lens in the right eye. It was an Alcon Acrosoft lens with uh, severe glistenings. And we exchanged that a week ago. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're seeing with the new lens versus the old one? Clear. Things are clear. The colors are brighter. Off. When I look in a distance, it's, it doesn't have that haze. What, what, was you, what was it, like a fog you said to me? Sort of like a fog, a, a hazy, like things were not clear in the distance. Mm -hmm. What about um, glare and uh, off-axis light, driving at night, things like that? Well, I used to see with the headlights, it would be like a ring, an extra ring or an extra, like four headlights coming towards me. Now I, it's clear and I see... Sharper. Sharper. Okay. So you feel like the quality of vision is better? Yes. Oh, yeah. It has okay. improved. And it's still getting better because we just yes. did it a week ago. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.